welcome back to another episode of Cardboard Craft, because today we're going to be making Doctor Strange's sling ring uh, from the recent movie. Not super recent, but sort of, kind of, no, not really. But anyway, let's get started. Materials! You'll need some foam. It doesn't matter what color it is. Uh, it does need to be, uh, for part of it needs to be thin, and some of it can be thick, but... I'm just using only thin. Uh, you also need some black acrylic paint and some gold uh, acrylic paint or spray paint. I'm really sorry about the fuzziness, guys. Sorry. Uh, and also some reference images. I'm using the simplest one I could find because some of them are really complicated. If you look it up on Google, though, you'll probably find the same one that I found. Here it is again. I started by creating two foam strips that will go... Uh, where the where the ring will attach to my fingers then i created some pieces to create the top of the ring these two the side pieces are identical and i'm going to glue them together using some uh super glue uh with gel control whatever that is like gel instead of liquid so now i have this i may have super glued a little bit of foam to my thumb in the process then i'm going to take this strip of foam and glue it onto the sides here and here of the uh shape that you made earlier then you can glue on the uh, the things that fit around your finger at the beginning of the video yeah those things then cut out some little squares and then you can glue them on uh on both sides of the top of the sling ring then use a hot glue gun create two little dots from the hot glue and then you can glue them on close to the uh, little squares that we glued on earlier. Then take a shish kebab and uh, cut two really small pieces out of it that are the same width or length, I don't know, as the sling ring. Then you can glue them right here and here to sort of match the little uh, circly thingy in the reference image that I used. Then you can spray paint it gold. Then take a pencil and draw out a bunch of intricate little lines and no pattern whatsoever. You just like sort of scribble all over it uh, to make it, to give it a, uh, because we're going off the reference images still. Then you can do a bit of dry brushing, especially a lot around the fingers, because of course that is where it is used the most. So here it is, our final product. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Cardboard Craft. If you want to see some of my other videos, you can check out one here and here uh and uh if you have any suggestions uh leave a comment down in the comment section below and as always don't forget to leave a like and subscribe